Hi everyone, it's Ha. I've conquered space. Well, yesterday I did. So let me show you how I did it. Floatrol, everybody's best friend in pouring, and I've poured it straight out of the jug as you can see. This is on a pre-painted canvas, just regular acrylic paints moved around with a knife and let, let to dry. I put the white in around the edges to create sort of a dam around the paint that is coming out of the cup here in a minute and kind of help direct it. Um, when What I've learned in, in this particular style is that you, um, when you are creating a space, you want it to look like space. You want wispy clouds and um, you want a star field. So you have to create that in your cup first. So you can see here where I'm pouring these things in circles. So there's a lighter color inside. Now, once you flip, this is an important part where I'm burping the cup. You push back in a couple of times and when you pull up, you'll have this beautiful space just like you want now the stretching is I actually spent a lot of time tilting and it went very very slow so the paint would it's really slick when it's on top of the flow trial and also it causes the colors to break the paint is also mixed with flow trial four to one and I'm using a really high grade artist grade paint pigment so you don't have to use a lot of paint so there's a lot of flow trial on this canvas and what will happen underneath is what my thought was is that the flow trial will dry clear so any breaks in the paint will show through the canvas underneath and therefore it won't be white it'll be space colors black and red supportive colors to the overall composition and then you know I'm just futzing here you know I love to futz and pulling out the wisps changing um, the, the composition slightly here and there and um, mixing in the puddles of Floetrol that look a little too thick. And really, honestly, that's about it, folks. That's space. You'll be able to see the finished painting here right when it was still wet and a day afterwards when it's into its drying phase as well. Um, I hope you guys had fun. It was the easiest, most super fun thing for me to do. I was super excited. I've tried space at least 20 times and failed miserably. So this was really fun to kind of feel like I had conquered this pour. And I hope you guys have fun doing it. Now, if you guys do some space pours, man, oh man, we really want to see them. So share them with us and let us know where your channel is so we can come watch your stuff. And if you want to be part of a, an artist encouragement group, we have a Facebook group called AV Artist Encouragement Group on Facebook. Come join us. Share your work. Let's talk about things. Let's be excited. Let's share information. So here we are wisping out. Isn't that neat? And in that black hole, basically there, these little teeny tiny pinpricks of light are starting to show up. And at the end, when it dries, it looks like a star field and that you didn't have to splatter paint it in. So I hope you had fun. I sure did. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks so much for being here. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.